So what kind of concerns do you have about data privacy, data ownership right now? Well, <clears throat> excuse me, I believe uh, everything we do out here is, is our information. And it, it's not that we're trying to hide anything. Um, we just want exclusive rights to what is ours. We don't want anybody hacking in or um, taking our information and our data without our knowing about it and, and then using it for their benefit or their betterment. Do you think that that's been happening? Absolutely it has. You know, these, these high, high dollar corporations, uh, seed companies, chemical companies, they're all the same. You know, OEMs, um, what drives their uh, R&D is information they get, um, whether it's feedback directly from the farmer or producer, or whether it's uh, taken without the uh, farmer's consent. Do you feel like data has been taken from you without your consent? Well, likely it has. Um, we've got some equipment out here that obviously is, uh, you know, state of the art. It's 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 new modern equipment, and uh, yeah, I, I would say that uh, our information has gotten away from us without our knowing. Do you ever read the terms of use, the end user license agreements, or privacy policies from the different companies you're buying seed, chemical, and equipment from? Well, if, if I have time, you know, some part I do, some part I don't. Uh, I know I need to read through that, but uh, who's going to read a manual that thick, you know, and the terms and the conditions? But uh, it's very important. It's just as important as uh, signing the check. You know, you need to really pay attention to those things because the information is in there. You can't just gaff it off. You need to read it, and uh, we need to do a better job here at... Uh, making sure we understand the terms and conditions before we commit to something. Do you think the suppliers and dealers do a good job helping you understand the terms, or do they even even mention terms when they sell you something? No, it, it seems like they don't. You know, they just they just come out and say, here, here it is, here's your price. You know, they wave a couple hats and coats at you, and, uh, you know, we take it for granted. You know, we, we, we put too much faith and trust into these you know, these people, yeah, they're good people, but uh, they're trying to make money too. And, uh, you know, they're going to present what they want to present you. And uh, you got to know the right questions to ask, and you've got to know what's in those terms and conditions to make, uh, to make good commitments to these contracts. Do you think Farm Mobiles helps you to understand the right questions that you need to ask? Yes, I believe that they do. And, uh, you know, Farm Mobile presents a lot of... Uh, useful information that may not come with a puck or a setup or a subscription, but just the whole realm of data management in itself. Um, you know, we know the value of it now through Farm Mobile. Farm Mobile communicates that very well, and, uh, you know, we're able to make better decisions, and uh, we're aware of so lot, so much more of what's going on real time. Well, great. Well, thank you, Jason, for your feedback. I appreciate it, and uh, hope you guys have a great, great crop year. You bet. Thank you, Heath.